we're required to taste of the powers of the world to come in order to go on. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrock. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 1. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ. Now, it doesn't mean you leave them as if you don't believe in them anymore and you're going to go on to something different. You're using those as a foundation. Leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on. Say, let us, let us. Go, on. go on. So that, that implies that somebody has to go on. Well, I say, let us go on. What if nobody else does? Let them not go on. Let us go on unto what? Perfection. That's not possible. Well, then he shouldn't have written it that way, should he? Right. Not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards God. Verse 2 of the doctrine of baptisms and of the laying on of hands and of the resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment. That's a big list. It's a big list that we should have as a foundation and then go on. Verse 3 and this we will do. What are we going to do? We're going to go on. This we will do if God permit verse 4 for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift so we're starting in on a list of things that are required of you if you are going to go on mm -hmm. unto perfection mm -hmm. once enlightened tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the holy ghost mm -hmm. and verse 5 and have tasted the good word of God and of the powers of the world to come what is required of you to go on unto you have to be enlightened taste of the heavenly gift be a partner of the Holy Ghost that's what partakers means translated that way in other translations taste of the good word of God and the powers of the world to come what is this requiring you in order to go on taste of the good word of God and of the powers of the world to come so we have to if we are going to go on and let us this we will do we will taste of the good word and the powers of the world to come while well, you can't taste of the powers of the world to come until the world to come not according to this verse we're required to taste of the powers of the world to come in order to go on say I, I am required, am required to, taste to taste of the powers, of the, powers of, the the come, of the world to come in order to go on seems pretty straightforward to me now if you taste of the good word of God right what do you use to taste things with your eye your ear note your tongue you would think it'd be the ear wouldn't you mm -hmm. he said oh you gotta you gotta you gotta hear the good word of God now it says you have to taste the good word of God say it's my tongue, it's my tongue. that does the tasting does the so you're going to have to speak the good word of God mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm speaking the good word of God is a power of the world to come these two are not separated speaking God's word out your mouth gives you access to the world to come speaking God's word out your mouth gives you access to the world to come why is that because it's a power of the world to come and that's what you need to go there verse 4 again 
for those who were once enlightened have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost it's literally the word partners with you partner with a person so when I say and I'm talking about the powers of the world to come do you see that you see the s on there have tasted verse 5 and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come is the Holy Ghost a powers no no he's a person singular right so powers plural there's there's powers in the world to come and I've said this over and over because I've been preaching on this recently that the powers of the world to come are the things that power the world to come which there would be a certain amount of prosperity there there'd be a certain amount of youth renewal there and we've gone over these things you understand he's a person so do you see this tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come and the powers of the world to come are those powers that power or are in power in the world to come they power the world to come and I often use the example of heaven because people kind of have an idea what's going on there there's zero sickness in heaven there's abundant prosperity in heaven there's youth renewal in heaven so there must be powers of youth renewal which supersedes healing powers of abundant prosperity working in heaven and those same powers would be the ones working in the thousand year reign of Jesus when he returns powers of the world to come Revelations chapter 20 and verse 4 this is when Jesus came back and I saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given to them then at the end of the verse it says and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years so youth renewal would have to be a power of the world to come are you here mm -hmm. I know I've preached on this before youth renewal is a power of the world to come is a power of that age to come well that's all well and good but what about now what about here and now exactly taste the good word of God and the powers of the world to come when are you gonna do that now this is how we go on someone might like to argue with me about that well how do you go on you have to taste the good word of God and the powers of the world to come that's how you go on will speaking God's word be in the world to come is speaking God's word a power of the world to come mm -hmm. it would have to be and you can see here again we're supposed to taste of the good word of God meaning having it in our mouth and the powers of the world to come so speaking God's word out your mouth is in fact a power of the world to come is this good news mm -hmm. because you can it's something you can do now it's something you can partake of now in fact speaking God's Word is not only a power of the world to come it is one of those things that will take you there this is better news than I think you think it is speaking God's Word will take you there say speaking God's Word, speaking God's word. Will, take me will take me there, there heaven and earth are more connected than you may think they are Matthew chapter 6 verse 9 and after this manner therefore pray ye verse 10 thy kingdom come thy will be done where on earth as it is in heaven 
does your Bible say that Luke chapter 11 verse 2 says when you pray say so he's saying you have to say it when you pray say thy will be done you have to say God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven that's how Jesus said you were to pray I pray by saying God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven what is God's will his word his word is his will I have to say his word to be done on earth as it is in heaven Deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 21 that your days may be multiplied and the days of your children as the days of what heaven upon earth now if I begin to call like Jesus said when you pray say you're beginning to say and call God's will to be done on earth which is where you are mm -hmm. as it is in heaven you're literally calling for the kingdom to come and his will to be done who's calling for it yeah. you's calling for it I'm telling you speaking God's Word is how you call for it and how you begin to enter into it and partake of the kingdom to come are you here and here he says that your days may be multiplied as the days of heaven upon earth are you getting this yep. Yep. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and let's look at verse 10 and it shall be when the Lord thy God shall have brought thee into the land sounds very familiar right we're going into a new land a world to come which he swear unto thy fathers Abraham Isaac and Jacob to give thee great and goodly cities which thou buildest not verse 11 and houses full of all good things which thou fillest not he is going to give you houses full of all good things which you didn't fill now again take this example of heaven and just about everybody you ask that's a believer will assume that when they get to heaven they'll have some kind of a house they will have a mansion are you here mm -hmm. and we'll use that illustration because it makes sense to people the world to come and we're gonna have powers of the world to come say powers, powers. of the world to come. world to come is this the Word of God did we just read a scripture mm -hmm. I'm not sure but I think we did mm -hmm. if we read this scripture and we said that saying God's Word is a power of the world to come are you still here mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be difficult if we're saying this house is full of all good things which thou fillest not and everybody is expecting this to happen when they get over to heaven right. what about over here houses filled with all good things which you did not fill are you to call for that you call for what is in heaven on earth thy kingdom come thy will be be mm -hmm. be houses be houses be filled with all good things mm -hmm. powers of the world to come and as I was meditating on these things as I am want to do because these things don't stop here they go on in fact we've been talking about going on the word out your mouth taking you to and being part of the powers of the world to come perpetual meaning continuing from one season to the next that's the literal definition of perpetual it continues from one season to the next mm -hmm. say from one season, from one season to, the to the next what's the next season 
it either be heaven if we die or it will be the thousand year reign of Jesus mm -hmm. so this house this and these houses will continue on into the next season I don't know if this excites you or not this we will do we will get a grasp on this you will get a grasp on this powers of the world to come now I just use that as an example but this works with every promise of God most people don't know it because they're in churches where they don't believe God will do anything for them second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 says all the promises of God are yes and amen he's already said yes to it all the promises of God are yes is that a perpetual yes when does that wear out so God providing you houses doesn't wear out God providing you clothes doesn't wear out God providing you youth renewal doesn't wear out because the word doesn't wear out what did Jesus say heaven and earth will pass away but my word abides forever his spoken word is a power of the world to come something that we can access right now and it is one of those things that will take you over there are you getting this feelings have nothing to do with it I mean if you have a good feeling about it that's just a bonus <laughs> but it really has nothing to do with it believing the words you say come to pass has everything to do with it I believe in speaking God's Word speaking God's Word is a power of the world to come now is everybody gonna go on no they're gonna hear this message and they'll go ah, I can't believe that then this isn't for you who is this for let us go on this we will do you have to you have to be willing to believe Amen. and you have to be willing to believe things that other people aren't going to believe Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4 Jesus answered and said it is written notice Jesus here mm -hmm. what did Jesus do you could argue that Jesus spoke the Word of God could you not mm -hmm. you could argue that Jesus only spoke the Word of God because he was God did Jesus by speaking the Word of God you know he you know a lot of people don't get this I'll just throw this out there Jesus over and over said on you know, that he was going to be crucified the Son of Man will be crucified and he will be raised again on the third day over and over and, and people it, people were blinded to it they couldn't hear it they didn't know what he was talking about how could this be he was literally saying what was going to happen he was speaking the Word of God that literally took him into the next world to come the next age oh Jesus is my example really he is your example you're supposed to be speaking the word that will take you over into the next age are you getting this mm -hmm. somebody's got to go here this we will do let us go on is this fun yet yeah. and here's Jesus speaking the word it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God what is proceeds out of the mouth mean spoken man shall live by every spoken word of God does that ever stop being a word of God no it's perpetual mm -hmm. that word will take you into the world that is to come it is a power of the world to come speaking God's Word right man shall live what what about that little the word live there is that qualified did he qualify it man shall live a little life by speaking the Word of God no man shall live it gets as big as you can handle because it's a power of the world to come and we are supposed to taste of the good Word of God and the powers of the world to come and if you get it this way by speaking God's Word it will not be taken from you 
if you get your youth renewed this way it won't be taken from you if you get your prosperity this way it won't be taken from you if you get your houses full of all good things this way it won't be taken from you why because it's built on the spoken word of god which is a power of the world to come can you see this have i at least made that case speaking god's word is a power of the world to come and gives you direct access now mm -hmm. to that world which is to come and it will not only work in this age but it will take you to the age which is to come the thousand year reign of jesus it speaking god's word will take you there holy ghost i thank you for blessing these people and for those who have had who have had ears to hear let them hear what the spirit is saying to them so that they they may be released from the bondage of old thinking and old theological thinking that they may step into the new and be released from the shackles of those old things that would hold them back and yea says the spirit lord you shall know the way forward step by step word by word word by spoken word and you shall be one of those who goes on and sees the new coming of the kingdom that i have prepared for you in jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost i worship you you are a god of wealth i walk with you in this earth and into the next dispensation i am wealthy because it's a power of the world to come and i say so in jesus name amen